All right. First up, Kansas City Chiefs. They made a trade the day we got out the studio. Man. <laughs> per usual, something always happened that Wednesday. This last Wednesday, though, the Chiefs traded a six-time Pro Bowl wide receiver Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins for five draft picks. I'm not going to read all the draft. They got a lot of draft picks, fam. A lot of draft picks. Okay. They got a, a first this year, a second this year, a fourth this year, and then they got a fourth and a sixth in next year's draft. Mm-hmm. So with the acquisition of Hill, the Dolphins are loading up on offense now. They got Taron Armstead, they got, you know, for the for the offensive line, they got Cedric Wilson, they got Jalen Waddle, they got Mike Gusecki, they got Chase Edmonds, they got Raheem Mozart. Do y'all think the Dolphins can be a playoff team this upcoming season? Last year they finished nine and eight. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I I don't want this to be one of those man, it was some good pickups though. It was one like they were big flashy, like granted Hill is a flashy pickup, mm-hmm. but the other ones like Chase Edmonds, Reem Mostert. Uh, you still got Gasecki, like you said, they re- they retain him. Like, it's the pickups and pieces that they kept, even though they're getting rid of Parker. I, I think they listened to the offense of Devontae Parker, mm-hmm. but like the pieces that they kept, and then they weren't bad last year. Like, they had that they lost seven first, and yeah. then they won seven straight mm-hmm. to end at nine and eight. Knowing that you lost your first seven is crazy mm-hmm. <laughs> for one. I just don't know if it was because the players bought into what Flores was saying uh-huh. mm-hmm. or you can't call it a fluke because not winning nine going nine and one the rest of the season is, yeah exactly it's, it's, it's that's not, wild yeah that's not easy to do hmm. I like it I think they can make it well shit I don't know but the thing is <laughs> the thing is there are a lot of good teams in the AFC mm-hmm. they are that's the problem I mean you look at the AFC West itself they mm-hmm. could have three playoff teams yeah mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And that would mean that the Dolphins need to win the AFC East. Which could have three playoff teams. So, I don't see them having a better record than the Bills. No. The Patriots? Could be there. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, they're always... <laughs> yeah. They, they, they usually sticking around, around mm-hmm. there. They could send three from the East, too. I don't know about three from the East. Because it has got, to be there. I'm sure listen, they should. here's some teams that should be in playoff contention this upcoming season. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go conference by or division by division in the AFC. Mm-hmm. AFC East, you got the Bills, mm-hmm. the Patriots, mm-hmm. the Dolphins, right. and the Jets. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't you have to mention them. Fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> AFC North, you mm-hmm. have the Bengals, right. yeah, the Steelers, yes. yeah, the Browns. No. No. No, they are going. If Deshaun plays. He, he probably will. Okay. Based on the way things have been going. Okay. okay. <laughs> so Browns. I so still probably, don't yeah. And then you have the Ravens. <clears throat> yeah, Lamar and them. So that's like, seven right there. Exactly. And then we haven't even gotten to the AFC South in the West because then you have the Titans, the right. Colts. Yeah. The Texans and Texans ain't doing nothing. No. Jaguars ain't doing nothing. No, no. So that's cool. That's cool. So we have to nine. We've knocked off three teams of <laughs> that's that's crazy. <laughs> three teams in a, out of three divisions. That's right. Wild. And then you have the AFC West with the Chiefs, the One, Raiders, two. The Denver Chargers area. and the Broncos. I was like, damn, they're all of them. The whole division. Yeah, like, <laughs> damn, they're all of them. I think any team in the AFC could be a playoff team outside of the Jets, Texans, and Jaguars. Mm-hmm. This <laughs> is true. Wash. That's 13 teams. That's... Yes, in competition for the seven spot that they have. Yeah. It's going to be some good football. It's going to be some good ass games, boy. I can't wait. Yeah. That's, a, that's a lot of competition, right? That's yeah. a lot of competition. But it should be good. I am curious as who the receiving court will be in uh, Cleveland, though, because they don't. They all they have is in Joku. Mm-hmm. Landry gone. Oh, no. They, who did they pick up? No. Yeah. Landry gone. Mm-hmm. Odell gone. Oh, uh, they still got Schwartz. They still got. I saw they might Mari be. Cooper. Mari Cooper. Oh, yeah. They, they picked up Amari. That's who they got. Dang, they he did go. Okay. I, saw, I forgot about that move. So, great. Yeah, it was a sixth round pick for him. So it was kind of quiet. They'll be it was decent. Big and quiet. Yeah, they'll be decent enough. <laughs> yeah. And with the, the Dolphins getting Tyreek Hill, they also gave him a four-year, $120 million extension, Big including $72.2 million guaranteed. Big money! Guaranteed. That makes Tyreek Hill the highest paid wide receiver in NFL history. Devontae Adams got to have that title for all of a week. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he got traded. Some people like, why would the Chiefs do that? And it's mm-hmm. like they were in the middle of contract extension talks. Tay got his deal. Yeah. And then Hill said, Let me get that. I need more than that. Yeah, let me get that. You know who fucked Chief, it up. Chief oh, said, Two wish for my blood. Exactly. <laughs> that the damn what's the name? The uh 
Oh boy from the Cardinals signed with the Jaguars. What position were you? Christian Kirk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, deal yeah. through the whole market. <laughs> no, because the, the deal that Vontae Adams was trying to top was DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. That was the richest quote unquote wide receiver deal. But pe some people said it wasn't because of the the way it laid out. Yeah. 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 Like even though monetarily on the year by your base, it looked like he was the highest paid player. Yeah, it's like, really, really, yeah, his really cap hit yeah. wasn't the same or something yeah. like that. It was, okay. it was interesting. So Tyreek Hill is down in Miami now. He chased that money. He was either going to be Miami or the Jets. Don't blame you for choosing Miami between those two exactly. options. Mm. Don't blame you at all. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to just seeing how this season plays out. Like mm -hmm. the AFC is big bro right now in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. The, the NFC coming. really look, is. There's a lot of rebuilding in the look, NFC now. Makes our path easier. I don't I'm Hey. I ain't mad at that at all. Like, I just came to this realization, but, like, Brady really is the LeBron of the NFL. Like... Mouse don't work. You gotta use the... Yeah. Go ahead, Eric. I thought you were talking to me. Um, <laughs> Brady really is the LeBron of the NFL because, you know, for the longest, the AFC... You no, know, the NFC was, like, the stronger conference, it feels like, in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And then once Brady comes in the NFC, then it gets weaker everybody goes goes to the AFC and then the NBA like forever the East was weaker LeBron goes to the West now the East is stronger like yep people ducking <laughs> <clears throat> but also Miami like they're they're setting Tua up like yeah mm -hmm. not like setting them up like to fail like they're setting them up to succeed if anything but it's like you don't have any excuses like either Produce. You know, like either you're our quarterback or you out of here because, like, yeah. you have every weapon imaginable. Like, you have us, we're loading up the offensive line. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, it's sink or swim time. Like, basically, what the Browns did with um, Baker, Baker mm -hmm. and we see how that turned out. So, again, like, yeah, yeah he totally. has everything at his disposal now to succeed, including a new offensive minded coach. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if, if Tua can't get right this year, and then and then backs is they may be bringing in next year's Deshaun Watson. I mean, that's part of why they picked up Teddy Bridgewater to be their backup. Mm -hmm. They felt like if, if Tua can't do it, at least we can get somebody a steady hand that yeah. can do it. Because one thing about Tua that people keep bringing up is like he don't have the arm strength. They're like, you got Tyree Hill, but you can't even throw down the field. Like, I mm -hmm. think he was like second to last of all quarterbacks in like deep throws in the NFL. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if that's more so that he can't do it or he didn't have the weapons, weapons to, to do it. it. Yeah. But then again, Jalen Waddle is quick as a mug. So he had Waddle, he had Parker. So, he now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Hey, they were still there. We'll see. But I did see the Dolphins. They're planning to use Tyreek Hill in kind of like a Debo Samuel type of role. That makes sense. So he should be getting a lot of touches. He fast. In, in the rounds. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. tosses fast. Screens. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, uh, yeah, Tyreek Hill in Miami. Oh, uh, shout out to um, um, Drummond. Um, I don't know if y'all saw he was on the fast break. Oh, when put the peace sign. Yeah, put the peace sign. Tyreek, he wasn't it to Kyle Lowry? Yeah, I was like, I was like, he out here wild.